ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are back with more Depony Chaos on Deponia. Let's hit the switch. Thaw things out. It Fort may not be a water platypus, but it swims like one. Alrighty. And then we hit the switch again. Free platypus. Ah! No! The ice block is stuck tight! I probably need tools. Alright. Tools, 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 tools. I should be able to free it from the ice with that. Yay! Ah! Yay! Cold! Alright, cold. Well, you shoved it in your coat. Alright. We need to return to Doc's lab real quick after this, but there's something I have to do before I can. Alright, this way is the marketplace. This way is to Bellevue. And this way is to Dad's house. The only freshwater source in the on the island. Well, there's water, but the only freshwater aquarium. Too late. It's already dead. My fishy is dead. Huh. This one catches the eye. Yeah. Secret doors in bookshelves for dummies. Pull on the book titled Pull Here for Secret Door. Wow! Who would have thought? Certainly not you. Pull on the book titled Wow! Pull on the book. Wow! There we go. Free Dustbuster! Yay! Alrighty. Welcome to the flag -o mat For half-mast, insert human ashes here. Huh, handy. Well, I happen to have some ashes. This is the highest point on the island. Hey, I wonder what they do with it. Show off their poor sense of fashion. Didn't the field guide say something about the highest point on the island? Alright. Franken fish with egg. All right, let's combine this and that. This and they say I don't know anything about fish. The hook and the tie. I've built a fully functional hook doohickey. Hook plus thread. Ashes. Yay! Good idea. Hook on thread on this thing. Now, off the leg. I just have to fasten the end somewhere, and I'll have the perfect catapult. There happens to be a little ring right over here. Whoa! Ow. Nothing happened. <coughs> of course not. According to the field guide, flying platypus... Yes. I bet I could find a much... But I better not take the risk. Oops. It says there is only one of this kind per generation. Attached yet insufficiently taught. Hmm. Interesting. Open this hatch. Open the lint trap. What's that? Is that a lint trap? It seems to belong to the flagomat. Hey. Just for the record, I'm not doing this to clean up here. Vacuum. I'm doing this to test the suction power of the handheld vacuum. <sighs> Ooh, slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. That's not lint, Rufus. That's ashes. Hey, there's a heap of ashes in there that I dumped into the flagomat. Maybe I can use them again. Maybe so. All right, look at that. Heavily taut windsock. That vacuum's pretty powerful. Where's my swordfish? There we go, razorfish. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my platypus catapult is loaded and ready for action. Well then? I forgot to set my timer, so I don't know how long I've gone. Yay!
Whoa! A perfect trajectory! It hatcheted. <sighs> I'm sure that can be used a second time. Probably can. Alrighty. Let's get Platypus off the menu. First things first. Where's my frozen plat? There it is. Oh great, I gotta walk the long way. Come on. Chop, chop. Go faster, Rufus! You do not have all day. You smelly monkey. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> huh, kind of cute. He looks surly. Now let's put the bread in the birdhouse. Here, platy platy. Look at the yummies that Papa Rufus has. And here comes the flying platypus. Platypus, yay! All right. I'm not going to check the field guide again, but if it you should can be come, possible to build something useful. Combine the windsock and the antenna. A landing net for flying platypuses? Mm, no, actually. Yes, of course. <laughs> that looks just like the landing net from the picture in the field guide. Yay! It's a good thing I'm such a brilliant inventor. Otherwise, I would have had to practice trial and error forever. Yeah. Landing net. Here, platy platy. Ha! Got it! Alrighty. Now, where does the air platypus go? Oh, yeah. Right back here. in this little nest. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. Alrighty, one more egg to go. Alright. Outside Doc's workshop. That is a uh, techno flux inductor thingamy. I can spot one right off. All right, let's try to bring off fish back. Of course. Ha! I could restore the poor fish to life with a couple of targeted electric shocks. Of course. All those hours under Dr. Gizmo's defibrillator are finally paying off. Yes, Rufus learned something. Rufus, what are you doing out there? Stop that right now! The generator is beginning to overload! The energy flow is off the scale! Space is already beginning to bend! Just a second! Come on, Fishbert! Live! Fishbert. Live! Ha ha ha! I did it! It's alive! Rupert, <laughs> damn it! Yeah, okay. Whatever that was, it was extremely cool. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Otherwise, it won't enjoy its existence as a zombie. If it's a zombie, it's not going to suffocate. But it's not a zombie, it's just shocked back to life. Alright. Come along, Fishford. He calls it Fishford, I can call it Fishford. Hey. What's that twitching? Uh-oh. It doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Yes, well, it needs fresh water, because now it's a zebra fish. Hang on, Frankenfish. Add water to fish. <laughs> Cute. But I should hurry. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace. Yes. Marketplace. Bellevue. What's hey, that flapping? what's that twitching? twitching. Uh-oh. It doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make... Yes, we've heard that. Thank you. Wata On the fishy. Hang on, Frankenfish. <laughs> Cute. But I should hurry. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace. All right. Zebrafish with egg in goldfish bowl. 
Rufus, what are you doing? Don't try to stop me. I have to save the life of a fish. It was a brief but fulfilling existence. You worthless idiot! Remove that monster from my aquarium immediately. Okay. Come to Papa. This is the water platypus. And I found its egg in Canada. That's where I found it. Water platypus. All the platypi are dealt with. Hurrah! Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> kind of cute. Water platypus seems to be no longer on the menu. Alrighty. It's all platypi taken care of. Jerk face. Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? You changed your name? Nothing to do with you. Honestly. But, but still, please don't go around telling everybody you're my son, all right? <sighs> I did it! The menu at Shea Schlumpy is platypus-free. Took you long enough. Had to go looking for platypus eggs first, did you? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, the very thought is absolutely hilarious. So will you let me reserve a table now? No. No! No! There's more to a date than fine food and a grand view, Rufus. No! As in, no? Yes. You also need to impress the lady with your manners. This is an Elysian we're talking about, right? I've got burns and blisters, two chillblains, and several platypus bites, and you say no? Chillblain? What about a poem? Uh, got burns and blisters, that's no lie. You still want more? Don't make me cry. Not for me, for the lady. Nah, somehow I can't imagine that poem would please her. I can see it now. The sunset is magically reflected in the champagne, making the sparkles light up her tresses of gold. It's more like... Orangey? Schlumpy is serving dessert, and then I recite the poem. You mean I recite the poem? Y yes of course. You. Well, are you well versed in the lyrical arts? Sure! Well enough to tootle my own horn. No reason to worry. I happen to be a master poet. I just have to read through a few more volumes of poetry until I find the right verses. To steal? No, Dad! That'll take forever! Patience is the most prominent feature of a romantic, Rufus. No poem, no table. Got it? Mm -hmm. He better think again. I've been listening to that doddering old fool long enough. I'm going to solve this problem my own way, a la Rufus, with well, another truly brilliant move. Well, we happen to know where a poet is. Don't go away. I'll be back soon. Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy it. I don't like you at all. Not one little bit. All right, we know where a poet is. Knock, knock. Hmm, you again. You know quite a bit about poetry, don't you? I'd be a lousy poet if I didn't. Was that a yes or a no? Please don't tell me you need my help with a poem. How did you know? I need your help with a poem. No. But it's for a lady. And, uh... Most importantly, it has to come from within you. Isn't it also important that it rhymes? You know, towards the end. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Oh, okay. And the meter. What about that? No matter. As long as it comes from the heart. Just give it a try. Okay. A junk dealer from Porto Fisco once met a nice girl in a disco. He said, you have class. But she said... I'll pass. She thought it too much of a risco. Not bad at all. It's amusing. <laughs> the meter works perfectly, and it's even a love story in the broadest sense. 
Bravo! I think you're ready. What? But... Th no! Go get her, Tiger. Well, I guess we're done. I have a feeling he was only trying to get rid of me. Yeah, I think so, too. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be with you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Please rate, comment, or subscribe. Or you know what? You don't have to, because I'm not the boss of you. Bye-bye!